Welcome back to 918 Disc Golf. Another month, another leveling up. But unfortunately, we're back at Riverside. Let's get into it. All right, if you're new to the series, welcome. Leveling up is my personal series where I try to take my game to the next level. I try doing that by shooting about 20 points above my rating, which May's update hasn't hit yet, so I'm still sitting at 944. The goal originally was to shoot around 970 then, but we're gonna go a little bit higher. So we're trying to shoot 10 down today. Same as last month when I missed it, but, and this is a huge but, there's been a big change to the bag and it's pretty dramatic. So I dare say, drum roll please. If you know me, you know that I've putted with P2s for the last four years. And there's been a big change in that slot. We've officially put in PA3s. Now before you click off the video, because it has the OU stamp on it, these will be getting wiped. I can't putt with putters that have stamps on them. So, I've been kicking us right into hole one, 330 foot par three, road to the left that plays OB. We're gonna go PD and see how it goes. Push, push. Favorable little skip. We've got a putt at the basket. Totally forgot to touch on conditions, but um, we've had like nonstop rain out here for the last week. Wet, but as far as wind is concerned, it's pretty down right now. So thankful for that. All right, the strategy is still the same this month. Ideally, I'd like to be four or five down through the front nine. Starting off with a birdie is big. Hole two, 310 feet, right out there. Same thing, road to the left is OB. Uh, two options, you can go big forehand or you can go a pushing hyzer underneath the trees over there. We're gonna go with that play. I'm gonna use my rive. I think I did it again. Step four. I got through the tree this time, so I'm happy about that. There is some strategy in this because being that it's super wet, I'm going to use my left hand to move my disc behind my mini. Could be clutch. That is the one thing PA3s don't have, is glide. And that's going to be something I have to get used to. Low key, this is the kind of day where having two towels is uh, goaded. It's a dry your disc after every shot kind of day. All right, hole three, T sign's gone, but 420 foot par three, walking path on the right hand side that plays OB, road to the left that also still plays OB. There goes something a little flippy. Just got a, a slight right to left tailwind. So we're gonna go with this blue emperor. Oh, don't do that. Come out of it. Well, unfortunately I found OB, so that's not great. All right, just kind of carried out right there. Pretty much just held Anheuser the whole way. So we're gonna call it right here. We'll play the upshot. That works. I'll take my bogey, we'll go back to even. Unfortunate, but the importance is I stay focused on the goal here. Hole four, 245 foot par three. Same thing, road, OB, walkway, OB. We're gonna do something a little bit different than last month. So last month I tried the quake on a backhand uh, hyzer line. Didn't really work out that well. So we're gonna go forehand with this zone on the left hand side, see if I can put it close. Not the, not the best shot, but also not bad, because I don't think I'm gonna bogey from there. Everything in me is telling me to lay up, but I just don't think I can. So we're gonna give it a bid, soft bid, and hopefully we'll stay close. Okay, little check-in after four, even. Not the worst thing in the world. I was one over at this point last time. Five more holes on the front nine. All of them birdieable. We can get all five, great spot for the back. We can get four, great spot for the back. We get three, getting a little iffy, but still there. So at least three, hopefully four or five. All five, 250 feet, uh, par three. Same thing, walking path, road OB. 
by whatever you can that'll get up there. We're gonna go quick. Oh, that's so not good. Good news, we have uh, four more holes to play. It's not one to fall. Fortunately, this is quickly turning into what could have been a great round with a birdie on one to how tragic can Jacob be this round. Hopefully one of these will drop for me soon, but hole six, par three, walking path, road, OB, 260 feet, um, slight headwind. We've got a little bit of wind coming through here now that we didn't have before. So we're gonna go uh, fireball forehand out in the open, should fade back, hopefully give me a tap in. Oh my goodness. That's not a tap in folks. That's not a tap in. Not quite desperate yet, but getting very, very close. I'm gonna give this a soft bid with a forehand. Probably about 110 feet out. Too high. Right distance though. Okay, we got to bust out towel number two. Towel number one starting to get a little damp. And we're only uh, on hole six, that's not good. Even through six, not a good look. Hole seven, eight, nine, all very birdieable, starting with this one. 365 feet, par three, walking path to the left OB. You find the, lo the road, good luck. We're gonna go our more stable Wraith. We should stand up to the wind a little bit better. Just try to play a hyzer up to the basket. Oh. Can I just like cut the video here and be done? Like, I, I don't know what I'm doing. All right, even farther dunk attempt this time. Oh, that's horrible. Avert your eyes. Yeah. We might be looking at one over. Hate to say it. But we might be cooked. All right, another highlight putt. You know, um, starting to think putting is like uh, what people say about slot machines. You're just one pull away from a jackpot or bankruptcy. Depends on how you look at it. You know, the sad thing is, literally two days ago from when I'm filming this, there's a mini out here. I shot 12 down. Like I know that I have everything in my being capable of doing this, and yet. Here I am, struggling. Hole eight, 275 feet, par three, plays right out there. You already know, walking path, road, OB. Going in B3. That's my range today. So not only am I a sad boy, I'm also a small boy. We're gonna start disking up. I think that that's really the only necessary uh, action I can take at this point, because I'm not throwing very far, so. First, I'm going to try to put this putt in. Uh. Don't want to be that guy, but I actually do need an ace at this point to hit the mark. So we're again, disking up on everything. 235 foot par three. We're going rive. We're hunting some chains. We're hunting some branches. First throwing attempt with the PA3s. Second throwing attempt with the PA3s. That's kind of sus. Safe to say I can call it here. So punishment is gonna be next month, unlike a couple of bozos, letting themselves go like seven rounds at the same course. I'm not doing that. We're gonna finish it in three. So next month, I'll be back out here. Um, the rest of the rounds gonna be ace runs. So if you wanna stick around for that. But we're gonna throw it out there to do a live round. So if you're interested, next month I'll be posting a date where you can come out and watch me record this challenge live until I beat it. I'll have a date in mind closer to next month, but just wanna give you guys a heads up. Getting into hole 10, 320 feet. R3, uh, OB is gonna be walking path to the left. I don't think I've ever seen anybody find the road. So, we're gonna go Wraith off the tee. All ace runs from here, just heads up. Doesn't have a chance, and now I wanna play golf. And now I wanna play golf. 
Maybe you'll see nine birdies. That'd be cool. Like I said, back nine. Now I want to play golf. It would have been poetic if I missed that though. Back to even. Hole 11. 335 foot par three. You got the bike path on the left. That's OB. Pretty much it. We're just going to go back to the same disc. Minimize this selection. Big hyzer. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know who was on the front nine, but it was not Jacob. Jacob has decided to show up when it doesn't matter. You know, even with as short as this is, it is still, a, it is still closer than like literally anything I had on the front nine. And I'm still not good at putting. Hole 12, 350 foot par three. Walking path on the left, bike path on the right, both play OB. Ideal play is just to get something, either if you have the hydro power, go on the outside of that tree, or uh, if you got forehand, you go left side of the tree. I like to try to sneak something underneath the branches, so we're gonna go destroy it. Is what I would usually say, but we're ace running, so we're gonna go high. And by high, I mean straight at the tree. It's, it's, it's deserved at this point. Hole 13, 300 foot par three. Biking path on the left plays OB. Really just wanna throw a hyzer on the outside. Let it crash in underneath the tree. I keep thinking about the golf play that I need to do instead of the ace play. So we're not going to throw the quake. We're going to throw a PD. Does it matter at this point? I don't think so. This out of bounds right there. Um, it hyzered out cross right about here. So we're gonna play from right here. Um, got a little highlight for you guys. Hope you're ready. Uh, I'm gonna abandon my lie. Also abandoning that lie. You know, I don't know if it's actually gonna stick, but we're gonna keep going. Give it one more solid attempt. I don't know the math right now. We'll add it up after the fact. 15! Great hole! There we go. Gotta give a big shout out to Gabe for sticking with me for 45 minutes while I attempted that shot. Don't know what my score is at this point. Does it really matter? Hole 14. 250 foot par 3. Road behind plays OB. Pretty much the only one on this hole. Kind of nice. One OB to mess with. We're gonna go fireball for him. Skip up. Well, back to playing golf. And all this spin out. I would have deserved it, but it didn't work. Basketball? Hole 15, 260 foot par three, right there. OB long on the bike path, left road. We're gonna go Pathfinder. Out of it. I am trying to ace run, believe it or not. I am trying. Highlight putt time. This just uh, this just speaks to how I did ace run because I'm long. Hole 16, 200 feet, right out there. Just looking at you. I'm gonna go pure on a hyzer, flip it up. Try to give it a little ace run, see what happens.
Normally, you want your disc to come out of your hand right here. The pure came out of my hand like right here. I know, excuses for excuses, but that's what happened. I'm not playing that. We're going to abandon that. Hole 17, 240 feet, just a little bit farther than the last one. Road to the left is OB, so we're going to go back to the same disc. I like the pure here. I think same idea. Highs are on the outside. Let it flip up. Glide to the best. And yes, I do think I can ace with a pure on this hole. Well, it is what it is at this point. We'll go tap out our birdie. All right, hole 18, 300 feet, par three, right out there. Bike path to the right, parking lot to the left. Don't find them. We're doing what we did the last time. I'm gonna give it three ace run attempts. Got a destroyer, flippy emperor, and a wraith. See if we can find a basket with any of them. Just going with the blue boys. That's how I'm feeling right now. That is probably going to be the closest of the three, but we'll see. Drop! That's in the ditch. Two inside. Good look for a two, though. Poetic end to a poetic round. Not even gonna bother putting that one. This is gonna wrap up May's leveling up video. Unfortunately, didn't hit the mark. I actually think I shot more than 10 over, which is uh, actually the opposite direction of the way you want to go. But fun thing for you guys is I'll be back out here in June. Again, a date will be posted if you wanna come watch live. I'll be out here as long as it takes to get this video done. See you next time. Peace.